One of the earliest cases of drones being used as first responders occurred in 2018. The Chula Vista Police Department in Southern California started sending out drones whenever 911 calls came in to assess what kind of human police response is necessary. What does the current state and near future of DFRs, what does it look like? Yeah, uh, Chula Vista, they were uh, a pioneer in using drone as a first responder. Uh, They're the first police station, I believe, in the country that was actually sending a drone to respond to 911 calls. What they realized uh, early on is that by sending a robot to these calls um, early on, uh, you can actually save a a lot of resources from the city um, because oftentimes you only have to send a drone to these calls to be able to respond to them uh, correctly. Also, like there are situations where by having eyes on the scene really quickly, you know whether or not you need to send either more police or EMS or fire. That was a pilot and it was a few years ago, but a lot of police stations nowadays are looking at implementing something like that, but in a grander scale, where potentially you can actually have drones that live in their environment, um, in base stations and whatnot. Um, Chula Vista, I believe, was actually sending drones directly from the police station to these calls. Chula Vista pioneered this, and uh, we have a bunch of police departments using technology, but uh, is this likely to be adopted more in the future? Or is it is it something that is getting traction? It certainly is. It certainly is. Right now, I I really believe that we're moving to a new era in drone as a first responder. Drones were used by police stations, fire, EMS, um, extensively for the beginning of the industry. I really believe that the drone industry kicked off with the Phantom One when it was released in January of 2013. And since then, there have been multiple police stations and fire departments and EMS services across the nation that have been using drones. But... For the most part, they're really human intensive where you'll bring the drone with you in your vehicle and whatnot. And um, there are companies now in across the U.S. that are trying to actually do drone as a first responder, but in a network system that lives in the city where um, drones are positioned strategically around town to be able to respond to these calls very quickly within three minutes and whatnot. And that's what we're trying to build um, at EVE.